Okay. That's gonna be my new intro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, should I not wear my glasses? Yeah, because you can like see like my recording setup. I'm not gonna wear my glasses. Or just sit far away. Ooh. No, I'm not gonna wear my glasses. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Happy gay day, I am that gay train. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be about my first job. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Cause my first job was actually working at a uh, McDonald's and it was an experience and i think at least like people should like at least work like either fast food or retail at least like once in their life to like really understand like a lot of stuff that happens because like once you've worked one of them like it's mad respect like mad respect for everybody who does that and i've had the privilege of working both so <laughs> So yeah, you know, I got I got a lot of stories from both experiences, but today we're talking about McDonald's because I have a lot of story times about McDonald's. I think like this video, I'm gonna try to do like at least like three like small stories into one, just because like, I feel like I don't talk a lot. I think I don't talk a lot when I'm recording, but I look back at the recordings and I'm like, oh my God, this is, over like 20 minutes of me just talking and talking about this is not which i'm doing right now so we're just gonna get right into these story times okay so i started working at mcdonald's when i was 17 i want to say 17 i'm pretty sure i only worked there for six months and you understand why when i tell you the story times but um it was interesting just because like that was my first job ever like doing anything so you know i went in very eager very happy very like excited to you know finally be working making my own money you know doing what doing what i gotta do you know and uh, the money was fine it was like good i don't think they got i don't think i got paid enough for all the shit that happened but you know whatever um and uh, the one thing that's crazy about it is the customers. Like there was a lot of like rude customers, like management sucks. Like it was just, it's just really not worth it at all. Like if you ever go like out to eat, like fast food and this, that, just please be respectful to like the people that like are doing their best to doing the best they can in like shitty ass conditions. So that's why I always try to be respectful. I always try to be nice. I always try to, you know, this isn't that. Plus you just don't want to mess with people that handle your food. like. Duh, come on now. That's like a no brainer. But this first story time was when I was working the drive through. Now, drive through is something that I worked a lot at McDonald's. So, like, I was normally in like back booth, the first window drive through, or the drive through window where, like, you know, they handle, they give you your food and stuff like that. So, I was on either one of those, like, most of the time. I only worked lobby, like, sometimes, but I was mostly in the on the headset and stuff like that because I, I, I'm a people person. I like talking, so like they use that to their advantage, which was a good idea. And so I remember the first, it was like, it wasn't my first week. It was like, I was there for like a couple weeks. And I remember this lady had came through the drive-thru. And you know, I'm like sitting there like, oh, hi, thank you for choosing McDonald's and this is that. And you know, we were just talking and this and that. And she ordered, um, I think she ordered double cheeseburger, fries, drink. And after her drink, she was like, oh, can you cut it? And now for those people who worked at McDonald's, works at McDonald's or like works fast food, I don't know if they do it at other fast food places. But when you say, oh, can you cut it? Like at least like at our McDonald's, like cutting it means like cutting your drink in half, meaning that you can get like two different, um, two different drinks in one. So like you can get like Coke and Sprite mixed together. You're cutting the drink. So 
So I assumed that's what she had meant because she had said after the drink, oh, can you cut it? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Like, you know, like, what do you want in it? What do you want mixed together? Like, whatever you want, like I'm, I'm down for it. I, whatever you need. This lady literally, <laughs> I remember this, it always cracks me up. This lady literally quote, quoted, quoted. She was like, no, you stupid bitch. I said, can you cut my sandwich? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit cries me up. Dude, at the time, no, I wasn't happy. And I wasn't like, I was like, this what the fuck she just said to me. But it's like looking back, it's so fucking funny. Because like she was so upset and this, this and that. And... <laughs> As you guys can obviously tell, my voice is very different than how I look. So she obviously thought, like a lot of people who were in the drive-thru thought, like, you know, I was I was a girl and stuff like that. So <laughs> it was just funny that she was like, fucking bitch and this and that. And I was like, girl, who is she talking to? She got me messed up, bitch. What? So she ended up getting out of line and then coming through getting out of line parking and coming in and um I had noticed that she she was because obviously obviously there's cameras around on the outside so I noticed that she was coming in so I went up to the front because like if we're gonna fight we're gonna fight at the end of the day this is older white lady never forget her she looked like <sighs> mm, I'm not gonna talk I'm not gonna talk shit because like but older white lady and like she was she had walked in all like mad and this this and that and I'm sitting in the front because I was like I just want her to say something you know nuck if you buck so she ends up like um she ends up going to the person at the register which was my friend at the time and uh she was like she was like where's that bitch at who was taking my order and this is that ah, I love it so I, at this time, another person had come. So I, I was like on the headset talking to the person on the outside. So I was looking at her because like, obviously she didn't know who I was. She obviously didn't, obviously can't match the voice to the person. So I literally was staring at her deep into her soul, into her soul. And I was taking the other person's order. So the other person pulls up and I'm just looking at her. Wow, okay, we're just like wild today. Can't hit anything on my desk because my phone's gonna fall. I was literally sitting there looking at her and I'm just like, thank you for choosing McDonald's. How can I help you? This bitch literally looks at me, mouth agape, turns around and walks the fuck out of the store. <laughs> It's so funny because like it was just I was like yeah bitch walk out like what's up like meet me what's good what's good <laughs> it's so funny that's like one of my favorite stories I live for that another story would have to be which which is a huge thing which is like also kind of one of the major reasons I'm really nice to people out like who work like food and stuff like that is because you don't want to be mean to a person that handles your food. And this story time is one of the reasons why I never mean to people who handle my food. So I was, it was nighttime. I think it was actually like in the morning, but like night, I think it was like 1 a.m. or something. And I was doing the drive through window. So I was handing out food and stuff like that. So one guy came, I handed him his bag and stuff like that. I was like, oh, have a nice night and a snack. He ended up tasting his fries and they were cold. I didn't know they were cold. I didn't handle it. Somebody else gave me the food and I just put it out. But he ended up throwing his fries at me through the window. <laughs> People are so disrespectful. Like I. It just boggles my mind how disrespectful some people could really be and just nasty and rude to people who like for no fucking reason. But he like ended up throwing his fries at me and I was obviously upset, I was mad about it. And my manager was like, did he just throw his fries at you? And I was like, yeah, he said that they were cold and this is not. She was like, he just threw his fries at you though. And I was like, yeah, like, 
And me and her were friends, like we weren't like, oh, we're hanging out outside of here, but we were like, you know, work friends, associates and stuff like that. So she was, she was upset more than I was. Like she was, she was pissed. And so she ended up dropping fresh fries and like, you know, she ended up like putting the fries. This bitch manager, mind you, <laughs> this manager dropped his fries on the floor, put them back in the container. She ended up licking half of the fries that weren't on the floor. She ended up licking half of them, placing them in the bag and was like, here, hand this out. And I am not a mean person. I don't think I'm a mean person. I like, you know, even if someone's like blatantly rude to me, I try to like, you know, contain myself. I try to maintain like this good, like good personality and stuff like that. And I in good conscience could not hand him those fries. Like, and I just could not do it. And I was like, I, I can't, I can't hand it to him. She was like, he literally threw them at me. And I was like, I know, but like, I literally cannot hand him these fries. Like it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so she so she was like, okay, that's cool. So she like literally walked past me and literally handed out the messed up fries. <laughs> now I'm peeking over her shoulder and stuff like that, because you know I'm still like in the window and stuff like that. And <laughs> I see him open the bag and like take out some fries and like eat a couple just to see if they were fresh and stuff. And he was like, that's what I thought. And like drove away <laughs> with the messed up fries. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my God, girl, we going to hell. I see Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories. But it, but later on, I mean, she got fired later on because like she was having sex with one of the other managers in like the freezer. So, and she got caught. So um, she got fired. <laughs> but hey, girl, you held down. I was fucking with it. Loved it. Every minute of it, you held it the fuck down. Okay, so my last story of time, well, I mean, last one for this. My last story of time has to do with um, one of the one of the things that led up to me getting fired. I think me getting fired, I think would be another like another video, another story time because it was so like stupid the way I got fired. So I think I'll make that a separate video later on. Leave a like and comment if you guys want to hear why I got fired from McDonald's. Um, and in six months, mind you, six months I got fired. <laughs> But this last video, this last story time um, was, I remember one of the managers had pulled me aside because I went in for my show. One of the managers pulled me aside and um, I remember we were talking about this is not, this was like mid shift, mind you. So I'm like, I'm already ready to go home. My attitude is like, I'm over it. Like I'm just ready to go. And so she pulls me inside and she was like, you know, we actually have like a couple of complaints about you. And I was like, complaints from who? I was like, literally, I'm so nice to everybody here. Like, as far as I know, everybody was like, we cool. Like, I haven't had a person that I was like, you know, rude to or like, this is not like, as far as I know, everyone cool. And she was like, no, it's kind of customer complaints. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, what are customers saying? <laughs> and she was saying that customers found me what did she say? Not uncomfortable. They were just uncomfortable to be around me because of my voice and how I carry myself. <laughs> so people were complaining on me, like some of the regular people who are there at McDonald's every day because there were people who were there at McDonald's every day. Some of them were complaining about me because of my voice and how I carry myself and this, this and that. And it was just hearing it, Hearing her tell me that like, you know, you should probably act another way and you should probably do this and you should probably do that. Just hearing that, knowing what I know now, I should have sued them back then. I should have, I really should have. But like, she was like, I just, we just like, you know, maybe you could change this or change that and this and that. It was just like, so like, I felt really defeated, honestly. Like I was just like, I'm literally getting talked to about how I carry myself and this is not like, it's, it was just, con it was just total bullshit. <laughs> and like, it was, it just like, it was, it was fucked. And I hated it. 
But <laughs> those are some of my McDonald's stories for my first job. It was, it was so difficult just because like customers, like I said, customers were like assholes, management was shit. And I just, I was actually told that I was too nice to work at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> which I which back then like yeah I'm I, like don't get me wrong I'm still a nice boy now but like back then I was just like I was such a pushover and like an easy like walking mat for everybody but whatever <laughs> I really I'm I probably am gonna tell you guys the story time about how I got fired because to me it's funny and like it's whatever but, but if you guys enjoyed this story time, make sure to leave a big like. Make sure to comment down below what's your favorite part of this story time. And also subscribe if you are new to my channel. Hi, how are you? I am that gay Trey. Very nice to meet you. Um, turn on the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which I post every Wednesday. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah!